John, you said Auburn manhandled you last time. What does your team need to do differently to make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, well, when you watch it, uh, you better play lower than them and they get down. You better know that they're, they'll wedge you under the goal or they'll, you know, in blockouts, they're, they're not afraid to bump and do stuff. But, um, you know, their guard play, they run downhill, we run downhill. You know, we're playing kind of similar in that. And uh, Wiley's been playing great. He's rebounding offensively. He had seven against us last time. I think he has as many offensive rebounds as he has defense. So he's playing great. Dowdy has hurt us every time we've played him. And Akora is back, so they're full strength and they're a good team. What difference does Akora make for them versus the two games they lost when he was out? He gives them one more guy. Um, he, uh, you know, he, he's a downhill runner. And he's an active rebounder. Um, he's, you know, he can go left or right. It's not like he's just driving right. He's a, he's a talented length guy, and he's a good defender too. John, after the after the game the other night, Emmanuel was saying that this team has a really good chemistry that started back in the summer. And Ashton just now was talking about that about how they joke around with each other and go out to eat night before the game and stuff like that. Is this team a little different in that regard than any other team, or are they more of it? They have more chemistry than some of your other teams, or I don't think it's chemistry. I don't know if you're using the term that I'm. You know, what you have is a bunch of guys that all the clutter that's around each of them, that the, the anxiety, the whatever you want to call it, that's there, um, they're able to push it aside and really be happy for each other. That's a little bit unusual. Um, you know, where whether it's EJ or whoever, Johnny or Keon, whoever, plays well, the other guys are ecstatic for him. And, and even in practice when a guy's playing well, they'll tell him, that's who you are, man, go do that. So um, the one thing for a while, um, when we were still figuring this out, they weren't holding each other accountable. They were, they wanted it all to be what I do. And I said, it can't be that way. You, you guys got to do some of this. Um, but. When you have that kind of relationship now, you can talk to each other on the other side, which is, you know, they know they care about one another, and they know they want each other to play well, so if they say something, it has a different impact. Cal, you don't strike me as a load management kind of coach, mm -hmm. but Ashton's been beat up all season and played a lot of minutes and plays 100 miles an hour. Is there a window that you could or would rest him? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but, you know, I told him if, if you don't, like he's turning it over, his decision making, um, it, there's a risk. I need him to be aggressive. I need him to attack. But there's a 80, 20, 70, 30 chance of success. Do it. 50, 50, 60, 40, don't do it. And he's, that tells me maybe he's a little mentally tired. And so, like, I'm, uh, my thing is that. How do we get this? to where you're back to one or two turnovers a game and still getting your seven assists, six assists. Where, how do we do it? Is it step you off the court for a game and you know, let you have a couple days practice off and a game off and then become, come back fresh? I don't know. That's an option which I've talked to him about. So. John, where do you think you could win the league and clinch it? What does that mean in the big picture? Um, it means you won the league, I guess. I mean, the, our whole thing is how do we get the best seed we can get? And if that means win games, just keep winning so you have a good seed. That's the whole thing here. I mean, it's not conference tournament. I know people get mad when fans go there. And it's almost an obligation because so many of them go to the tournament. But the whole point for me is you, that tournament, you're, you're playing three games back to back to back. I mean. What does it really do? Well, if you got to win the games to get a good seat, win the games. But the reality of it is it's our season is about building toward March, being prepared for every kind of team that we could play, um, building every player on your team because you don't know 
who's got to step up in the game. We now have the five guys that have scored 25. Can we get a sixth? It would be nice to have one more, just so you know, um, because you don't, you don't know what's going to happen in this thing. And that's the whole idea is how do we advance? How do we give ourselves a chance? John, we hear about Kentucky basketball, family. I'm interested to know your reaction to Malik Monk and the situation with his suspension. I haven't talked to him, um, so I don't know all the details. Um, a little bit surprised um, and, and, you know, feel bad for him. Um, but a lot of times things happen for a reason and it makes you square yourself away and makes yourself evaluate. And again, as I say this, I don't know any of the particulars and I have not talked to him. Um, but, you know, I let his family know we're here for him if he needs us or they need us in any way. Um, they know that we're here for him. So.